strategy on this one would be a little bit different to how I'd invest 50K. I would invest 100% cash um, in this um, deal. Um, and I would invest in Bolton, Manchester. Now, with this section where we're gonna talk about 100,000 pounds, I would probably focus more on the capital growth with that because we're going to be able to do a lot more with the 100K than we could with the 50. Hi, I'm Jawad. I'm from the Property Hub Care team at Property Hub. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm one of the portfolio managers here at Property Hub. And today, I'm gonna to be talking about how I would invest 100,000 pounds. When I'm focusing on capital appreciation, I look for a few things. The first thing I look for, which is probably a little bit counterintuitive, is that it's a really nice place to live. And I look at it and think, yeah, I'd like to live there. The reason I do that is capital appreciation follows desirability. So if people want to live there, people will fall in love with an area, they'll want to pay a little bit more year on year to secure that dream house. And as a result, that increases prices. And that's where you get the capital appreciation. The areas that I look at in a little bit more detail tend to be in and around something called the Golden Triangle in Leeds, which uh, not many people are familiar with, but I lived there for quite a while, so I know it quite well. It's effectively uh, an invisible triangle that you can draw on a map that goes from North Leeds out to York, back to Harrogate, and then back to Leeds again. Now, in that area, prices are really, really high. Not ridiculously unaffordable, but high enough that you know it's a desirable area. The transport links are good, and people come back time and time again and want to live there. So if I'm focusing on capital appreciation, I always look in and around that location because it's performed well for me in the past and I imagine it will continue to do so. I think Bolton is a very slept, uh, slept on uh, place at the moment. Um, yes, we've seen a, a boom in, in Bolton, but there's still some parts of Bolton that uh, are, there are deals to be found. Um, a very tight knit community, great schooling, great transport links into Manchester city centre. So my target price point would be as close to 100k but I'll need to leave room for stamp duty and other fees so I'm looking more around the £80,000 mark. I think I could find a decent property, uh, maybe a terrorist property, two bed um, for this price in, in Bolton. I would always use a mortgage. Personally, I think it's the best thing about investing in properties that you can use leverage. So 25% at all times, if possible, depending on the stress tests, and that will allow me to get an even bigger, even better property with the same amount of funds. My first investment property I bought was focused more on capital appreciation. And I've had that about six years now, and it's already gone up by 50% in value. So I've been really amazed with the results there and it's really inspired me to keep going down that route. Although it was more expensive to get into that strategy, I feel like it's really starting to pay dividends now, albeit it does take time, but that's property. Uh, and I will be doing that going forward. I think it's the absolute best thing you can do for a long-term goal, such as a pension, buy property in a nice area and just leave it. And you'll be amazed how quickly that snowballs into an amazing amount of wealth. So I don't live too far from, from Bolton, so I know the area quite well. Um, my strategy, again, would be, would be long-term in the sense that I feel I would see a lot of capital growth from, from this area. Um, with the rental income, uh, I feel like this could increase over time also, whilst the surrounding areas develop and the area that I've purchased and developed, my rental you can go higher and higher. So when I was talking about the price point, I talked about the sort of 300,000 to 400,000 pound range. Now with that, you are gonna attract a slightly different type of tenant. It tends to be the likes of families or working professionals that are in a couple that have got a little bit more disposable income. They maybe are looking for an area that's got good schools, which is why I invest in the locations I do. As a result of that, you are gonna find that these tenants stick around longer as well, because once they've invested in a school, they don't want to pull their children out of there. So if you're wanting minimal void periods, it can be a really good strategy to do. From that point of view, I would look for things like a three or maybe even a four bed semi-detached because that's gonna attract families. Obviously they need a lot of space and typically that's going to be in a, in a residential location. So from my point of view, I focus on three and four bedroom houses for that, but you could equally get a similar result with three bedroom flats in city centers. Equally, people are going to need to live in all types of locations. So you could consider that as well as a capital growth strategy. I'd hope to achieve a rental of around £700 per calendar month, um, if not maybe a little bit more, I would look to find a property in great condition 
um, or good condition uh, if I am buying in cash. It's a bit of both between um, income um, and also capital growth. Bolton has a lot of growth still yet to come. Uh, again, the communities are on the rise, the schooling's on the rise, and the transport links are getting even better. Um, so I would say in the next 10, 15, 20 years, um, the appreciation of the property will, will, will be great. Again, something I could pass down to future generations, but also use as part of my pension. So that's how I would invest £100,000, but that doesn't mean that that's the right way for you to invest £100,000. Tell us how you would invest £100,000. Leave it in the comments box below. We'd love to hear from you. So this is how I would invest my 100 k uh, my views, my opinions. But please do let us know how you would invest your 100 k Remember to like, subscribe and share and see you on the next video.